Welcome to PlayStation VR. Okay, you've hooked up your PSVR. Now, it's time to get ready to play some games. Set up your PlayStation camera where it'll have a good view of the entire play area. Mounting it on top of your television is usually best, but you can also set it up at the base of your TV. With either placement, be sure the camera is not obstructed and is able to read the headset's tracking lights, as well as the lights on your DS4 or Move controller at all times. While you're enjoying your PSVR, you'll need to establish a play area of 6 feet by 10 feet. The camera's position should mark the center line of your play area, which looks like this. For your safety, you'll need to clear out all of the furniture, toys, exercise equipment, pets, and other obstacles before you put the VR headset on. For added safety and peace of mind, you should create a nice buffer zone outside the play area. And please stay seated while enjoying your VR experience. The nine tracking lights on the PSVR headset track your movement in correlation with the camera during your virtual reality experience. If you happen to stray outside of the play area, you'll receive a pop-up warning prompting you to return to the suggested location within this designated space. Try to limit any light sources directly behind you. They might throw off the headset's tracking capabilities. It's also a good idea to close any curtains or shades. Now, it's time to get you in the game. Keep your controllers handy. If you have the CUH ZVR2, you'll first need to connect the stereo headphones to your VR headset. When you're not using your headphones, use the earpiece holders on your VR headset to store them out of the way. The volume and mute buttons are located on the bottom left side of the scope, as well as the power button. If you have the CUH ZVR1, the stereo headphones plug into the jack on the inline remote. There, you will also find the volume, mute, and power buttons. If you're using on-ear or over-ear headphones, these go on over the PSVR headset. You'll likely be doing things like fighting intergalactic wars and defeating ancient evil. So you want your headset to have a snug but comfortable fit. There are two main buttons you'll be using to adjust the size and fit of the headset. The Scope Adjustment button, located on the scope's top right side, and the Headband Release button. If you have the CUH ZVR1, the Scope Adjustment button is located under the scope on the bottom right side. First, use the Scope Adjustment button to extend the scope, then press the Headband Release button to extend it and adjust the fit. With the headset now on, use the adjustment dial and back to fine-tune the size. The Scope Adjustment button helps the fit by allowing you to pull the scope inwards towards your face, so you can easily place it where it's the most comfortable. To take the headset off, simply press the Headband Release button again. If you wear glasses, just put the headset on over them. Be sure to use the Scope Adjustment button to bring in the scope for a comfortable fit around your glasses. If you want to use the headphones, remove them from the earpiece holders and place them in your ears. The first time you use PSVR, the headset will need some adjustments. Just do what our little friend here tells you in the PSVR's UI setup. He knows what he's doing. To recalibrate or change your settings later on, press and hold the PS button on your controller to bring up the quick menu. And select Adjust PlayStation VR or go to the Settings menu for more setting options. If you want to play a normal PS4 game or watch a movie, you can use Cinematic Mode for the best experience. To enjoy Cinematic Mode, you may need to reset your screen's position. To do so, face forward in the direction you are sitting, and then press and hold the Options button to reset the screen position into its ideal place. Once everything is calibrated, you're good to go. Now, launch a VR game and enjoy the PSVR experience.